friends, we are in seventh Sunday in the ordinary time. The liturgy of the world invites us to reflect on the theme, the power of Christian love, which has unconditional forgiveness. The readings instruct us about our right and wrong choices in our lives. When we make the right choice, it leads us to God and the wrong one breaks our relationship with God and with one another. The first reading from the book of Samuel shows us how David made the right choice and he respected God's anointed King Saul and forgave all his offenses against him. Whereas King Saul continued to make the wrong choices. David's sense of justice, the spirit of forgiveness and respect for divine authority helped him to go beyond revenge. Thus, David proved that he was not like any ordinary human being, rather worthy of God's love and honor. That is the reason Jesus was honored with his title son of David. What we can learn from these personalities is to love and forgive others unconditionally. As God forgives us, then we obtain the privilege of being the children of God. Let us remember that our acts of love helps to remain the children of God. In the second reading, St. Paul reminds the Corinthian community that everyone shares in the sinful nature of the first Adam. The first Adam made a wrong choice of disobedience and brought death to the world, whereas Jesus, the second Adam, made the correct choice of fulfilling his father's will and brought salvation to every one of us. So, St. Paul encourages his followers to remember that by baptism we also share in the spiritual nature of Jesus as Christians. We are expected to go beyond our earthly desire and choose the right choice to be God's chosen. Dear brothers and, and sisters, when someone hates us, we have two choices. We can hate them back or we can refuse to hate and show love. When someone hurts us, we can respond in two ways. We can hurt them back, which we call in our term, tip for tat or return good for evil. In today's gospel, Jesus makes it clear that if we wish to be his disciples, we must refuse to hate and refuse to hurt. That is why he teaches us, do to others as you would have them do to you. That is the golden rule of Christian living. It is the most difficult rule to follow. We struggle again and again. It is not impossible to follow. It is not important how hard we fall, but what matters is how fast we rise and follow the Master. The people who hurt and hate us do not deserve our love and forgiveness. Rather, it is the way that our Master set before us and he followed through his very life on earth. His life on earth was composed of all these that we face in our times. We might ask ourselves, why does Jesus want us to do something so difficult? The reason is very simple. We are called to be the salt and the light of the, of the earth. A city built on a hilltop so that everyone can see us. We are called to be people set apart. 
we are called to be more human and different from the old order. We have best examples like St. Teresa of Calcutta of our times who truly proved that she is the true follower of Christ. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, the measure by which we measure shall be in turn be measured out to us. Life is not about measuring one thing against another. It is about imitating God, about being merciful to others because our God is merciful to us and we are expected to be merciful towards our enemies as well. Let us ask the grace of God to bless us with grace to be a true witness of His merciful love. Thank you.